Hey, tell me what scale this is. Or this one. So what I'm doing there is I'm sidestepping. I'm combining two scales, the G scale and the E-flat scale. There's a simple rule. Anything that you can do harmonically when you're playing jazz, you can do melodically, whether it's being played in the rhythm section or not. But you got to use your ears and you have to have some bit of taste now what I'm doing it's called sidestepping right you know how you can you know go like for a G major maybe go A minor you can do the same thing melodically So what I'm doing here, let me show you this first riff, which scale, which is a, a G scale starting on A, then an A flat scale starting on E flat, then a G scale starting on A, then A flat scale starting on F, or I don't know what I did there. I think I had that uh, D in there. I don't know. It doesn't matter. And then something like that. This one up here is a G scale, A flat scale, G scale, A flat scale, G scale, A flat scale. Okay, so you can create some cool little lines with that idea. Now, that we're talking about playing outside, right? You're outside the tonality. Whenever you do that, it has a dominant effect. In other words, when I go like an A minor, this sound here is out of key. It's creating tension. Therefore, it has a dominant effect. I could also play like a B flat 13. get the idea so this is a flat five dominant so go, me going like this it's kind of a flat five effect so any kind of de line development that you put together using those two scales will sound kind of cool and you want to uh, you have to experiment it's all about experiment let me take a uh, oh, an A minor kind of vamp like that chromatically. I can do the same thing melodically. for that but hey it, it it really gives you some uh ideas if when you think about it when you start playing like that it's just a lot of possibilities
So generally the line has to be resolved because with any dominant sound, you want to, you want some resolution. The longer you keep it outside, the more tension, the more, it's like, uh, what are you doing, man? Are you like, <laughs> what, are you, what are you hearing now? Jeez. So you, you want to, again, use some taste, which that's sometimes hard to do. Anyway, uh, taste is not only in your mouth, it's in your playing. So kind of remember that. <clears throat> anyway, I hope this opens uh, some ideas for you and exposes you to some different sounds. And you kind of uh, experiment around with that. Remember, a little bit of it goes a long way. It's kind of like playing with a phaser. You know, if you're playing with a, a phaser all the time, uh, after a while it's like, Man, I'm tired of this sound. I want to. It's the contrast that makes the difference. So, anyway, think about it. Hope you enjoyed this. I will talk at you later. Bye for now.